today for April the 26th. The readings for today are Deuteronomy chapter 12, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and Acts chapter 2. And the thought is entitled, Those Who Received His Word. Our chapter in Acts 2 contains the dramatic message of the Apostle Peter on the day of Pentecost. This day is the same as the Old Testament Feast of Weeks. Pentecost is the Greek word for 50th. It occurs 50 days, 7 weeks after the Passover. It was at the start of harvesting. The climax of Peter's message is to declare to those assembled from a vast range of countries the great significance of what had happened at the Passover. These people, obviously Jews, had come from a vast range of places to worship. It is evident they had not been there for the week or weekend, as happens these days. At Passover time, the jealous priests had whipped these visitors and others into a frenzy to reject Jesus as a false messiah. Remember that in the 40 days after Jesus' resurrection, Jesus was only appearing to his followers. The last two chapters of John we have just read illustrated this was not on a daily basis. Paul was aware there was one occasion when he appeared to 500 brothers at one time. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 6 We can reasonably imagine that all sorts of what would be called today unconfirmed reports were in circulation. What an impact the ability to speak in other languages would have had. The mighty works of God were being declared to each in their own language. Peter brings his speech to a climax, declaring, Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. A great many of the hearers were cut to the heart. They said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And are told, Repent and be baptised. Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptised, about 3,000 of them. What is it to receive the message? It is a very common word in the Greek. The repentant thief on the cross with Jesus acknowledged we are receiving the due reward of our sins. The Greek word is often translated as accept, Paul was told when he returned to Jerusalem, Make haste and get out of Jerusalem quickly, because they will not accept your testimony about me. Acts chapter 22 verse 18. Today, the main attitude of many is either scoffing or indifference. Few are like those of Berea, who receive the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Acts chapter 17 verse 11 How have you received God's word? What effect is it having in your life? Thank you for listening. We shall be back tomorrow, God willing. In the meantime, please take care.